What is going on guys? We are back on another video today. We are doing another speed rebuild on Madden 22 and today it is of the Kansas City Chiefs, a team that you would think on paper you're like, oh that's a team that's really, really good. They're probably uh, favorites for the Super Bowl and all that, you know, great offensive line all of a sudden. You, know, you got Mahomes, you got Kelsey, but you lose Tyree Kill, you lose Tyron Matthew. There may be some other guys in between that, you know, they may have lost as well. But they did also gain Justin Reed, which was a huge addition for them. But, once again, in a Madden sense, you're looking at Mahomes and Hardman. Those are guys that are just going to be really good together and really OP. But in Sim, it's a little bit of a different story, right? You still need wide receiver. You definitely need running back. Right tackle, wooden hurts defensively there are a lot of needs the whole linebacking group almost the whole defensive line the corner uh i mean really all the corners maybe uh free safety as well there are a lot of needs to fill on this team as you can see it's only an 81 overall i mean if you look at pure overalls they might just barely be in the top 10 i'm actually going to take a quick look i i wouldn't surprise me see so the packers that's one team two three four we won't count the Saints because they're tied. Four, we won't count them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven teams, and that doesn't count the teams that are tied with them. So, eleven teams are better than them based on overall alone. And you could argue even more with the, the tied teams that are 81 overall. Of course, there are some free agents that still need to be signed. We'll see what happens with those guys. Like Tyron Matthews isn't officially signed with anyone yet. Um, there's some guys that maybe change some overalls. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're a team that are good. And they're definitely not a team you would think needs a proper rebuild. Which is why I didn't actually do one. Despite them losing Tyreek, losing Tyron, which are big name overalls. But for a rebuild sense, for speed rebuild, it's a bit of a challenge. And I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, we may have to trade Travis Kelsey. Might have to trade... Chris Jones might have the trade, you know, some of the new names they signed, like MVS and uh, Juju. I mean, this is going to be an interesting one. And uh, if you guys are new to this series or new to this channel, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. Of course, if you are new to the, the series, you get 10 minutes for every, uh, if you're an 80 overall. And for every overall higher than 80, you lose a minute. So this is only one overall higher. So we're going to get nine minutes. But because of the trade glitch, which is where if you... Get a trade completed. You have to back out fully to get another trade going. Otherwise, it won't let you add players. We add two minutes, which usually cuts into that. I think if you were to do under eight to ten trades, it's about two minutes. You know, backing out, coming back in, the time it takes, you know, for all that to go. But let's get ready for this with our 11 minutes on the clock. Think about who we're going to go for. You know, we like to trade, you know, let's say a Travis Kelsey for like, Darren Waller and like Max Crosby or something you know we like to trade position for position if possible for a lesser talent still really good but then add some other players from that team so I'm trying to think of all the teams with good tight ends trying to think of all the teams with potential DTs uh, and then you know maybe some other players we're looking for maybe some older veterans that can help us since this is just a one-year thing but regardless let us get it going 11 minutes on the clock and we're going to start it in three two, one, and go. So first things first, we're going to put Travis Kelsey on the board. Although it's, oh, why did I do that? It's kind of dumb because, I mean, every team's going to want to. So I'm going to go by tight end. Uh, Dawson Knox, perhaps, with Diggs, maybe. Ertz, I don't think he's good enough. Kasicki, I'm not going to go right after. Wait, Kittle? This would be a little broken, but I'm going to try. Oh, uh, he's, I mean, it seems like they may kind of do something like that, but he's only uh, yellow, or was that orange interest? Colors are hard. The Lions don't have enough talent. Waller, we were just talking about. I don't think Crosby's enough. Ooh, what about Devonta? Yeah, let's, let's just... Yeah, I mean, I'll try. Of course, we do have another first-round pick. I went for the Rams pick. I don't remember what pick it was, but the Dolphins had, like, pick seven, so obviously that wasn't going to work. Um, speaking of not working, Chandler Jones, Max Crosby. I mean, that's a lot to ask for, right? Come on, do it. Uh, instead of Max Crosby, do they have, like, a, a decent corner, like Mullen, maybe? I don't know if that's good enough, though, to be honest. It's not good enough at all. What about the Ravens? Mark Andrews. Ooh, Marlon Humphrey, though. And Pierce. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, maybe. What about, like, both first-round picks? Yeah, that's not going to happen. 
Uh, let's take that off. Go for Peters instead. Maybe a little bit lesser of a talent. Obviously, nowhere near as developable, but we don't really need him to develop. Ooh. What about... This might be an overtrade. Is it? Oh, it's not an overtrade. Three minutes off the clock. Well, actually, about two minutes off the clock. And we're looking like we're about to land our first trade. Andrews, Pierce, and Peters. Are you effing me? Like, is it, do I need to give them... Oh, we don't have... The no, I'm selling. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. It only cost us like five minutes. It's not five seconds. If that cost us five minutes, I'd be really sad. Uh, fourth this year, we are selling a little bit, but I mean, we're trying to save as much as we can. Come on. Oh my God. I'm not giving you a third round pick. Why didn't they just take this out the gate? This was fair. Bruh. Wow, we are losing. This was like a whole minute since I said we wasted what it... Excuse me. What is going on here? Thank you. Wow, that was... I mean, they really fought for that one. I, I suppose they went from a fifth next year, a sixth next year, to a third this. It's, I mean, it's something, right? Um, let's go to DT now if we can. There's a plane flying through. I mean, I, I can't stop that from happening. Chris Jones... Uh, we've gone to Washington a lot, but there's a reason for that, right? What about like, just like straight up? Doable. What about... I can't tell because when it's the really big names, the game kind of doesn't like... You know, the game's like, eh. Do a third next if we can. Uh, what about 62? Just give them 62. Please be good enough. Just take it. Thank you. Finally, a trade kind of went quicker... You know, I didn't have to worry about it. Just kind of got it done with. Now, I mean, we need a lot of positions, but linebacker is probably one of the biggest remaining at this point. Not that we have, you know, it's not like we're not missing a lot, but let's go Juju and MVS. I kind of want to keep McCole Hardman. What about J uh, Ronald Jones? Can we find a team that needs, a you know, all these guys for a running back? That'd be kind of cool. Washington, I don't like Gibson in game. He's... Not very good in sim. What about the Packers? Aaron Jones is pretty dependable. Uh, you know, they need wide receivers. But to say maybe they uh, they want MVS back, but they're like, nope, you traded. We don't want you. Sorry. Second round pick. I mean, he's a running back after all. Damn, they value running back kind of hard in this game. Uh, first round pick is a little costly. Really? Are they serious? McCaffrey, no shot. Uh, running back. Josh Jacobs could be a decent name. Josh Jacobs and Sim is actually kind of good. I was about to say, Juju straight up is a little bit of a, of an ask. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I just try not to waste any more picks because you know we have some decent picks still remaining. A second round pick with this would be a great trade for us. Oh, I really got to give a first round pick for this. Like, I'd rather have Aaron Jones than Aaron Jones is a little more dependable in game. Aaron Jones, do it. I guess we're going to go straight over to the the Raiders. Josh Jacobs, 88 overall. That's a lot to give up, but I want a running back that's good in sim. Like, small Clyde Edwards Hilaire don't really do it for me, you know? But we end up getting a running back, which is nice. We need linebacker once again. Uh, offense is, I mean, kind of rebuilt. It's not quite as good as, uh, you know, having Tyreek, but it's still good. Uh, the Bears, no. The Cardinals, Cardinals have like an okay linebacker, but no one like crazy. Could go to the Eagles, actually. Let's go to the Eagles and grab uh, Hassan Reddick. Kind of decide what we want to do with him from there. Uh, where is he? Wait, what? Excuse me. That's where he went, right? Where is he? I This is literally an updated roster. Did they release him? Did I actually skip one week? The hell? Um, damn it, dude. That's a huge L. I was looking right at that line. I was already thinking about the next trade. Texans. What the hell do the Texans have for me? What the hell am I even to hear? You, uh, why? Why was I even here for? Uh, Roquan. Let's go to Williams. I don't know if it's an overtrade, but I'll give him pick 30. We really need a linebacker. Oh, my. Oh, my. What about Levante? Levante, David. You want Ronald Jones back? Ooh, that might have been an overtrade. Levante is great because he's an X Factor, but I didn't really think about the fact that he's like 400 years old. That was an overtrade. We probably could have kept the first round pick. Oh, that's a little bit of. I mean, I saw the clock, but 
now that I'm looking at it, four minutes is a lot when you trade away like one of your last remaining first round picks. Uh, Andrews, we kind of need to upgrade the line a little bit. So D line, we have the two DT, so Naughty can go. Frank Clark's actually kind of OP in Sim, so I might not worry about that unless we have extra time at the end. Can we trade all of this for an upgraded cornerback? The Bears, no. The Bengals, no. Denzel Ward, perhaps. Denzel Ward's only star dev, but, you know, first round pick. Do we have that first round still next year? I think we do. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, that was for Jacobs. I didn't even think about that. No way we're going to get him. Yeah, I mean, it's not a terrible offer, but they're like, nah, dude. Uh, Trevon Diggs is okay, but he's not that good. What about Demarcus Lawrence and Tra Trayvon's not that good, though. I can't. I can't. Four minutes left. That clock creeps up on you. The Niners, no. The Jets, no. The, the thingies that Packers aren't going to do anything good for us. The Jires just way too hard to get. What about we come back and we just make the Ravens corners our own? I could have taken Tucker, too, but we'll see. Nope. Seattle, the Saints, the, 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 the guys. What about the Titans? They don't have anyone at corner, right? Damn it, dude. Who do we go with? What about Minka and put him at corner? Quick trade. So you got three minutes left. We're kind of losing clock here. Uh, where is the Saints? I don't know why they would want to trade Lattimore, but Lattimore has been pretty dependable for me in these. Oh, man. Who do we go with? We need a corner. Good corner that's old. Good corner that's old. Falcons. My dudes. Can we also get Terrell? What about um, Deion Jones? No way that goes. Man, Deion Jones is so undervalued in the game. It's crazy. Fifth round pick might be too much, but we're running out of time, so I don't really care. just want to lock that in. Deion Jones added to the squad. Casey Hayward, one-year kind of guy, added to the squad. Two and a half minutes left. Wish we could add some time to the squad. Uh, what else can we do here? We don't really have that. We could use another wide receiver instead of Hardman. I'm going to put Hardman on the list. Grab a new wide receiver if we can. O line's not really good. We could use one more lineman too. Everything else though, I think, is just good enough. We could go for a safety. Uh, wide receiver, safety, lineman. What about Mike Williams? Would still be an improvement. I know it's not kind of the guy they're looking for, but uh, Slater, J.C. Jackson. There's no way that goes. Damn it! These two. Wow. Okay, that didn't go. Two minutes left. That really did not work the way I wanted it to. Um, the Niners, Debo. Debo would be kind of cool. Debo, Samuel, and Jimmy. That would be a good trade. I'd take that. Do we have any draft picks left? I doubt it. That would be a really good trade for us, though. Debo's probably a little bit too high value, though. Jimmy Ward and who? Jimmy Ward, Alex Mack. I could probably get rid of those two now. Yep. I mean, it's a good trade for some old veterans. Probably moves them, uh, you know, whoever's the most athletic could play tackle for us. So offensive line isn't great, but it's good. It's good enough. I still want to try to... Wait, tell me I kept Hardman. Oh my god, I just sold. Never mind, we're not good. False alarm, we're screwed. Bolton? I can't get rid of Bolton. I got rid of the... Who did I get rid of? Yo, what did I do? So we have the safeties... Who do we add? Wait, did we we didn't get Debo. We got the center. Oh my god, we're selling. You got it's all your guys' fault. I'm just gonna go for CD Lamb. Oh my god, they don't even want him. I mean they do want him. That's the problem. CD Lamb's usually pretty easy to trade for. <laughs> I mean they didn't even want him. Okay, maybe uh maybe losing Hardman wasn't as big of a freak out as I was making it seem. Uh, come on, hurry up, hurry it up. I'm, I'm trying to think of what else we could use. Edge rusher's not that important. One more linebacker wouldn't hurt. One more linebacker. 19 seconds. I mean, all of this for DeMario? Oh, they don't want that, but hopefully they just take it anyways because he's old. Yes. Okay, so five seconds left. There's no point in trying to go in, so we're just going to call it. All right, you know the drill. Under 87, we're a bum. Come on. Oh, Lord, we're awful. Jesus. I was like, ah, maybe 86. It'll be close to 87. We didn't even get to 87. Like I said, this team on paper, you know, with Mahomes, with Travis Kelsey, you know, you just don't know. But 
in game they are lacking. I definitely didn't do what I wanted to do. I wanted to make the receiving group even better. Terry McLaurin and CeeDee Lamb are very good players, but you can honestly argue with the, what the Chiefs try to do that we may have made the team worse, right? Because Kelsey's amazing. Not that our Andrews isn't great. He's pretty damn good himself. But Kelsey is a decent bit better in real life, uh, especially for blocking. But more importantly, the receivers, a lot more speed than what we did. You know, we we took a lot of the, the speed away. Terry McLaurin's fast, but he's not MVS fast. He's not, ter- um, what is his name, uh, Hardman fast. Same with Lamb. He's kind of like a better juju. So we lost a lot of speed on the team. I will say Jacobs is a huge addition, although for their scheme, maybe not the best either. You kind of want a faster guy, but you know, I'm a little more shifty. But either way, in Sim, he should be better. Offensive line, we added a center. It's kind of all we did. D-line, though, we did add Chase Young. However, once again, you can almost argue with the way this team plays, Chris Jones is better than Pierce and Payne together just because neither of these guys is really a true pass rusher but I suppose we should be sick on their ground defense. Corners are obviously much better. Free safety is a lot better. And then the, the linebackers just become like the best in the league, obviously. How long would they last? Not long. 31 years old, 32 for DeMario, I'm pretty sure. But Deion Jones, obviously a long-time guy here. So, or, well, would be a long-time guy. He's obviously not a Chiefs player. But obviously, for this series, we put the Chiefs playbooks on. <laughs> obviously, we have the Chiefs playbooks on. But we uh, normally would have the Chiefs playbooks on if... We weren't the Chiefs, so uh, we don't have to change anything there, which is kind of cool. But 85 overall team. I don't know. In the AFC as well, this tough division. This could be the biggest like bad upset we've had ever, especially when you consider the fact that even with the lessened roster in-game, they still win the Super Bowl a lot in Sims, so we would just technically have made them worse. But I don't imagine that's going to be the case here. Yeah, 14-3. and three. You do see the Chiefs with a bit less losses or a little bit less wins normally and look at those three quarterbacks Tom Brady Patrick Mahomes and of course Jameis Winston obviously those are the names you would mention Uh, of course you can see Michael Gallup without Lamb there is like finally I'm not the number three I'm the guy it's like they did pay him so he definitely needs to be the guy now but let's take a look at the stats Mahomes obviously was up there we've seen that third in yards second in touchdowns 14 interceptions isn't crazy high. Uh, Jacobs, that's much better than you would expect from uh, this running game. Like, where is the other fella? If he played well, I'd be shocked. I don't even know if he would have been a starter, to be honest. Where is he? Clyde Edwards, hilarious. Did have four yards per carry, but 11 touchdowns, 754. Well, who's the starter in for the Raiders? Was it him? It was a really bad output, I suppose. But either way, Chiefs. Back to them, receiving McLaurin, not super great. Andrews was pretty good, kind of did what Kelsey normally would do in Sim. Lamb, okay. Josh Gordon played a lot more than I would have expected. It is a spread offense, so I should have known that. But yeah, if I had a little more time, if I didn't panic as much, I probably would have grabbed three decent wide receivers, but it'd be what it'd be. Frank Clark, like I said, didn't want to upgrade him, didn't want to change him because he's just a god in Sim. I don't understand how. He just is uh, him and the Texans guy, Greenard. Uh, Chase Young, 12 sacks, 7 sacks for Payne, seven, uh, 6 for Pierce. Not pass rushers, but they still got numbers, which uh, you know obviously proves that you don't really need the numbers too much. It's really about the overall teams, but Sneed with the most interceptions. That is surprising. Butker, 13 of 14, really good kicking, which you know he's real hit or miss. Townsend, that's pretty low, I believe, punts, uh, yards per punt. Uh, normally you'd see like in the 50s, probably like 52, uh, but yardage number one. In the entire league, which is amazing for offense. Seventh for defense, which is a huge improvement. And then you scoring, number one. Defensive scoring, number three. So really amazing numbers. MVP of the league went to McCaffrey with the highest quarterback being Cam Newton. The guy is just a glitch in game. I don't know what it is. Always will be. Always is. Davis Mills, offensive rookie of the year. That's interesting. Uh, but no award wins from us. However, we may be on par to win the biggest award of them all. Although we might be doomed because we're playing up against Cam Newton and the Steelers. Cam Newton, the glitch in game. 89 overall to their 82. Obviously, we have the XP sliders at 100%. So we did have a lot of youth, even though we added some age. You know, Chase Young is obviously young. Payne is still young. What else? The offensive line is still young. Terry McLaurin, CeeDee Lamb. It's a bunch of guys that, you know, are still very developable. So... 
it was a speed rebuild, but we did keep a lot of youth and added a lot of youth. So it wasn't just like a complete cheesing of, you know, grab Tom Brady and, you know, Jensen. Well, I guess Jensen's not really a cheese guy anymore. He's like super sorry. He's tough to get. Uh, come on, Chiefs. Hold on. Looks good. Oh, they didn't get the two point, but they don't need it. No shot. I can't come into the game. But at the same time, if I don't come in the game... Bro, this is unprecedented territories. This isn't even allowed. <laughs> Actually, better chance without me. Because they might have been able to, like, sim cheese it to the 40 and get a Hail Mary or something. I don't know. Field goal. Oh, Super Bowl rematch between the Steelers and the Packers. And the Packers win that one as well. Wow. I mean, once again, I didn't feel like we belt, belt, built the best team in the world, but... Man, EA Sim, dude. They get us again. 82 overall. Cam Newton, 71 overall. Led uh, Steelers. And they beat us. And not even only that, but they beat us again. Because I backed out and simmed. Like, what the hell, dude? Andrews, of course, with, what is that, Vanguard? I think he always gets Vanguard. No, nope, it's grab and smash. Uh, he's superstar, but he doesn't have any abilities, which is kind of, like, Why? But let's take a look at the defensive side of things. Any dev ups, Frank Clark, obviously. And there was no one else, but, you know, some of the regressions already hit. And you can see that they're still really usable. You know, it's an 89 overall uh, David, an 88 overall Davis, an 85 Ward, an 88, uh, you know, Hayward on offense. You know, everything still looks pretty damn good. So, I mean, it's a team that was, like, pretty young and usable still. We just got cucked by Sim again, which is just fantastic. Regardless, though, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Let me know who you guys think we should have traded for, because there definitely was some moves in there that I debated. Who is the overtrade? We oh, uh, What's his name? Levante David. Did we give a full first round for him? Or what was second round, maybe? I don't remember, but overtraded for him a little bit. Could have probably added on, like, I don't know, Devin White trade off uh, Deion Jones for another wide receiver. I don't know, but... It's a tough team to, you know, do this for. You have Travis Kelsey, you have Chris Jones, and that's kind of all you have for max value, right? You have some late first-round picks, but, I mean, you put 30, 30, and 30 together, and I don't even, don't even know if you get into a top five in Sim. Um, so, it's, I mean, it's a good thing, but at the same time, maybe that's what we should have done. Maybe we should have traded those third, you know, pick 30, uh, all those 30s for an actual high pick, and then we could have used it with some other player, to bulk trade for some sick wide receiver or something. I don't know, but I really do think we probably just got cucked in Sim, especially since we had the Chiefs playbook. I mean, look at the, the team ranks. One in you know points per game, third in points allowed, third in pass yards, thir 13th in rushing, uh, defensively 17th pass yards per game, which is, you know, it's kind of sucky, but fifth in run yard defense. I mean, like, it was just unlucky Sim, I guess. I think it was a pretty good team. Not the best we've done, but once again, considering what we had to work with, because we think of the Chiefs as so OP, but it's a new look team without Tyreek. I know they still have a lot of speed, but Tyreek was a freak, dude. Tyron was really good. He helped that uh, defense hold together. And honestly, if Reed doesn't play as well as we expect him to or think he can, that defense could really take a dive. But we'll see what happens, and uh, hopefully you guys still enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!